All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Trundle top lane in season 12. So what you want to run right now is a Lethal Tempo or Conquer. They're both really good. You want to go for Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, Demolish, and you also want to go for Second Wind. Um, along with the setup, we are also running a Dorn's Blade in this matchup. We're facing off a Warwick, so fits pretty well here. Usually if you're facing off like a like a ranged matchup, you want to go for Dorn Shield, obviously, but the Warwick matchup, it is a Pokemon matchup, but Dorn's Blade's got to do a great job here. All right, so there's a couple things that I want to mention about Trundle Top right now, guys. You won't believe this, but hear me out for a second. Trundle has one of the highest win rates of top lane. <laughs> I know it sounds like a joke, but it's true. <laughs> There's so many top laners with Shine at the moment, but you won't believe this, man. Like, Trondo is so simple, yet unique. Has the highest win rate of top lane. So, I'll show you today. Now, we're currently facing off Warwick. I know a lot of stuff about this matchup. Um, one thing you should definitely never do is all laning, Tron uh, all laning Warwick. Um, because he's going to heal up quite a bit from pressing his Q at the right time. So the way how we're going to approach this matchup is quite simple. We're going to focus on relying on like short trades. And when the time is right, we will all in. So we're specifically going to see if we can get that auto Q out. And then backing out again. Got my E here. I'm going to kick him into the tower. Okay. Got you. You see? I nearly kicked him, like, into the tower with my E, though. I gotta mention that real quick. <laughs> like, I positioned my E in, in such a way where once he, like, walked through my wave, I put the E from Trundle in, in like, a position where I would force Warwick to be inside my tower so he couldn't auto-attack me because if he did, he would basically also walk into my tower and he would tank the damage at the same time, so... He basically put himself into a position where he had, like, no escape anymore. Because even when he tried escaping, the, the, the wave was basically blocking him from getting out. So I would still win at the end of the day. <laughs> like, that's one of the most nasty things you can do when you, when you play Trundle Top. You just kick them into a specific position. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Getting ganked by Volibear, of course. That's why I didn't approach Warwick here, because Valdebeer was chilling down here. I knew he was there, so that's why I didn't force him. The first item I'm going to go for is going to be Blade. I know, it sounds absolutely crazy, but let me just uh, let me just show you. This is going to be awesome. We're going to go for like an on-head build, which is going to be good into every situation. I'm going to force him here. Kick him away. And we go back for back and forth. Nice try. In case you guys have never seen this before about Warwick, um, it sounds pretty unique to some people, but Warwick has been a meta for top lane for a while now. Basically, there was two players in Challenger who's been like playing Warwick top lane pretty much all day, and they run barrier with flash on Warwick and the idea about this is that you force your opponent you all in them you pop the barrier and you heal up that's why like in case you're seeing like a bunch of these people just for, uh, playing Warwick right now this is why like it's a super nasty way of playing Warwick but this is why like everyone's playing Warwick right now because of uh of the the challenger players we did it it's basically formed like a new meta so let's go back again. Next item right now is going to be... Wait a second. It's going to be this one. Alright, let's walk our way back. So this wave is going to push directly into me soon. Over time. We're going to place a Contra Ward down here on the edge. Once we get there. Uh, depending on how Warwick's going to play it. This wave is going to stack up, so it will guarantee, like, push into me. So I might not have to do it. 
If I place a control ward now, like he's probably gonna clear it, so I'm just gonna pop this one instead. We killed him about twice right now. We also have level six. So I'm gonna see if I can cheese him before he gets it. Wait a second. The wave is like sta stacking pretty well, so he's gonna ha he's gonna have to like walk into me at some point. Watch this. Simply drop the Q down when we have the ability to do it. Go for the Q, back and out. He'll walk up at some point. Pop it again. And how we all end. He can't reach level 6 because the wave is dead now. There we go. Just simply by freezing down the wave, not touching the wave at all, just letting Warwick like push in the wave towards me and seeing him at level 5. He was very close to level 6, he needed like 1 CS more to reach it. So, seeing like a massive wave like that, him trying to clear it up, I'm obviously just gonna all in when the wave goes down because he's still level 5 then. He won't be able to outplay me by taking a CS, you know. Trundle's level 6 is super OP because once you once you reach level 6 and you have a lead, you just pop E, follow up with like an auto WQ with your ultimate. There's only a very few champions that can actually uh, compete against that once, you know, Trundle gets a lead. That's why Trundle is so strong right now. It's the level 6 of Trundle who does it and the early stage. Simply hold it like this. I want this wave to be in a favorable spot, so if we start pushing the wave down without any mana, we won't be able to fight Warwick that well. So we're gonna have to keep the wave like this. Go for a Q again, back and out. See if I can like mix in like another auto Q. Follow the skill only in mid lane, so we don't have to worry about jungles that much. He can't really farm this out because I'm standing like right in front of it. We have about 20 CS lead right now. We still have the waves like stacking here. Alright. Nice one. Back and out. You don't want to let Warwick heal from you. Alright. It's gonna press R on me. I'm forced to back out now. This is the issue about Warwick. Like, he's gonna be able to heal up from you after you trade. And if you don't have any mana, you can't really say that at all anymore. Let's go back here. Let's get this stuff. Uh, before we do, I'm just gonna make sure to go for this. When you face off at a Warwick, you gotta make sure that you actually get this stuff. You have to, you don't have a choice. You know, not as a first item, obviously. I've seen some people who do it. But I actually encourage you, at least go for a good item to rush. Not just this, because even though it's cheap, it's not worth it. Usually you want to go for it after your second component. Alright. We force him. Just going to walk away. Sure. I'm going to hard push this wave, because he's ne he needs to back off now. By the way, Frank is. Hey, thank you for the subprime. Thank you for supporting me with the prime. Thank you so much. Whoops. Did I break something? Okay, Warwick uh, seems to be staying, so that's a good thing for me. I'm going to see if I can proc my demolish here. There we go. It doesn't matter if he hits me. Nice try. Even if the ultimate from Warwick has land in time, it still does not matter because I would still tank him with my ultimate at the end of the day. Like, Warwick tried to, like, save up his ultimate at the end so he could heal up more from it. And we have the ability to basically uh, kill him before he can even pop it. Even if he does pop it, my ultimate will tank it up anyways. So it doesn't work for him. Like, I can 100% confidently tell, even if he uh, popped this ultimate there, in time, 
he would still not have beat me there. Because I would heal up way too much. Let's go back here. Hello there, Nycobot. Uh, quick question. How do you feel about Renekton right now? Um, wait a second. Uh, how do you feel about Renekton right now? Personally, it is not the best champion in top lane, honestly. I, got, I gotta admit it, 100%. But, there's one thing I have to say about Renekton. He is one of the best counters to top lane. If, you, if you're looking to counter specific champions um, in top, Renekton is like one of the best champions to do it. Because, I mean, obviously, we all know Renekton at this point, right? So, in terms of, like, blind pick in Renekton, not very good. But if you're looking to, like, counter your opponent by picking it, go ahead. It's actually pretty good. So, yeah. Renekton's fine right now. It just... All, I, I'm, all I'm trying to say is just don't blind pick it. <laughs> That's all that matters. I can't force it, unfortunately. We need, like... Uh, we need to proc my Demolish in the tower. Wait. Ooh, nice. Got it. All we need right now is to force the tower away. I want to force him on our tower, but I can't because if he pops his ultimate, he can kill me before I can pop my own. So it's kind of... What I could have maybe done was like popping my ultimate and then seeing if I can dive, but I would have to... Um, set everything up properly to do it. He's gonna... he's gonna ult me. Gotcha. All oh, my damage is absolutely insane. <laughs> we basically crushed him without him expecting it at all, man. <laughs> like, there's so many people who don't know about the damage from Trundle. Like, that Volibear popped his, um, his ability on the CS to try and, like, clear out the wave. And then I just instantly turned around with my damage. We just proc my blade and we just rush over him before he can even pop his ultimate. <laughs> Absolutely nasty, man. Ch Chondle does so much damage. It's unbelievable. Alright, let's go for Trinity Force here. I actually want to get Sheen too. We'll get that soon. Nykobot coming with a resub prime of four months. Four months. Hey, welcome back, Nykobot. Welcome back, man. Yeah, I've already been thinking, Nykobot. I was actually thinking, um, might sound very strange, but about a couple days ago, I was actually thinking about your name. Rem reminds me of like the, uh, for some reason, it reminds me of Nightbot. You're dead. All right. Fortunately not. Yeah, so for some reason, if I think about Nightbot, I actually think about Nycobot. Let's get this wave here. <clears throat> this game is going to be, um, I think, probably going to be a hard game because my team is kind of struggling a little. Let's go for this camp here. Nice. I'm thinking personally about forcing mid lane now. Um, just getting the tower down because there's a massive like wave about to approach here. Wait a second. I'm just gonna force it. Oh, I can call him. Oh, you kidding? No, you kidding, man? I was about to like force the tower down, pop my ultimate on Volibear, and then like all in him completely. But exactly the moment I'm trying to like finish off the tower, this Warwick just lands his ultimate from here, so I couldn't see him, man. <laughs> 
Are you serious? I was about to like turn uh, turn that stuff around. Oh man, so unlucky. Unbelievable. I'm gonna sell my Doran's play. I'm gonna get Sheen. <laughs> So back top side. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna force waves and see if we can get jungle camps and hopefully get the blue buff. You've been busy with school, Nikaba? Hey, it's all good, man. I'm not expecting like any any of my, you know, viewers from YouTube and my streams, you know, from I'm not expecting anyone to always watch every video of mine, you know. That's up to you. It's just good seeing people return, you know. It's always good. Push this out all the way. I can honestly not wait to get my Trinity Force, actually. It's gonna be an exciting moment. Wait. I'm just gonna walk through here. Possibly. Ah, no camp for us. He's looking to chase me down. I'll take the rep buff then. This uh, Warwick and this Volibear are becoming pretty annoying, especially with Volibear, because he's going like AP Volibear. Okay, these guys are done. Both of them are dead. Wait. I could use my ultimate on Galio, but... Okay. He's gonna walk away. Yeah. Oh, I got CC to death. Wow. Lucian was baiting? I went for him, and then, like, just as I walk around this corner to chase his uh, Lucian down, I saw, like, these three people, like, walking up here. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna walk back top set. Oh, Nykobot coming with a donation of 5 euros. Hey, thank you so much, Nykobot, for both the resub and the 5 euros. Thank you so much for that. And fortunately, we're not getting, uh, not getting Trinity Force now. We still have, like, 100 gold to go for. My ultimate was not enough to tank the damage from Valdivir and Warwick either, because we're getting, like, CC to death. If we were able to pop auto attacks in this team fight right here, I think we could have probably turned, maybe kill, like, one or two. But we're getting CC chained pretty hard this game. I was thinking about going for Mercs earlier for the for the CC, actually. You're probably done it. I went for Steel Caps because I was thinking about Lucian here. And about uh partially about Volibear. But Oh we can't take him, yep. Warwick is a guy we cannot kill here. Getting chased down by Warwick again. I can never kill Warwick because Volibear is always there. And if I try to group up, they are also stronger than us. Alright. 100%. I see Warwick farming top lane. If I go there, I'm going to get ganked by, Vol by Volibear. 100%. Okay. Ooh, she misses the ult. She actually missed it. Fortunately, there's not much we can do in terms of team fights. Their team comp is just straight up beating us here. 
We literally stand like zero chance at all in these team fights. Let's go for Trinity Force. Next item will be a Steric Gauge. Hole Breaker this game would be very, very nice, honestly. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go Steric Gauge. We need some type of team fight, some item that can help us, you know, achieve a better team fighting. We do have uh, like. Um, we do have this guy, which can basically one-hit them with one combo, but that would require, like, perfect play right there. Like, in th so far with the team fights, it's been pretty bad. Just people getting caught and stuff. I'm not ugly, but they're about to be. TP is, like, 35. We can't really push next wave. I'm gonna go down this camp. I'm the troll with the plan. Okay, not bad. Our ADC is pretty farmed up, so it's just a matter of time. Also for my mid laner, this guy is scaling up pretty well. Let's go down to this wave. We're gonna push this out all the way. Yeah, like, thankfully, this Astral is also very fed because he's been splitting all day. Making things work, you know. Trying to get my pressure back. Wait a second. Instead of TPing that moment, I'm going to force the tower because my teammates are already winning right there. We could maybe force the Baron, though. Wait. We could force the Baron right here, actually. Definitely not going for a tower here. Like, this is way better. Nice. This is going to give us a huge advantage. Definitely. Awesome. Let's go back. Get this one. I'm gonna TP on the back on Lucian here so we can catch him. Got you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go back to the side lanes. I want my teammates to pressure mid and reuse that Baron. I'm gonna go bot lane and we're gonna force this tower down. Uh, wait. There we go. Just typing to my team to go mid lane is 4. Use the Baron right now while we have the chance to do it. Apparently Warwick is like chilling in Bali and Galio is like standing in the tri-bus just casually waiting. Still casually waiting. Okay. Whatever, man. Is he still there? Wow. Wow. Wow, what a CC. Jacob's on the way. <laughs> this galley is just chilling there for like 10, 10 years straight. I literally saw him with a red shank and he just still stood there. Apparently didn't see me at all when I used it. Alright, we got Shaco here on the back as well, so... And my ultimate's pretty short. Like, 50 seconds will go, over, like, pretty fast. No worries. Apparently, Galio and Warwick are still standing together. Well, my team is forcing mid. Drag this out a little. And now we're going to move over here. Or before we do, we're going to for... Oh, Warwick is down here. Okay. I'm going to move up here. Apparently, there's a red buff we can take as well. So you see, like, you don't have to team fight in order to win. Sometimes all it takes is just maintaining pressure with Baron and then simply force them. Is 
Hopefully my teammates are not going to overextend now because I'm chilling in bar lane. Got several things done so far. Jake is spawning like 40. Like Baron has been a huge, huge game changer so far. They're, all of them are currently in mid, so I'm going to force this tower too. Warwick is chilling in bot lane now, taking the farm, so I'm going to flank them on the back here. Oh, well. Well, okay. At least we got like one. Now we get this dragon here. So we got red buff, we got two towers, we got uh, even a team fight done because of the way how we've been rotating. And now we're also getting a drake as well. So we've got like so many things just from a baron after they won a fight. Like this is how crucial a baron is. You know, a baron is super important, guys. If you can get this thing, you just for you just force all lanes. You don't have to team fight to to make things work, you know. Uh, let's go for... I want to go for a Mortuary Miner, actually, but... Uh, I think I'm going to go for a Thormal instead, actually. Eh, I want to sell this and go for a Thormal, actually. There we go. Of course, going for damage, it does work, right? But I actually want to go for Thormal, and then as the final item, I want to go for Spirit Visage. It's much better. I don't need more to reminder or chain sword. You are the chillest challenger player you have ever seen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at least that's yeah. That's a good one. You know, it's you're not the first one who actually says that. You know, my mentality in this game is always... I've been playing League for so long at this point. I've basically already reached everything imaginable in this game. You know. I'm pretty happy with uh, with how the last couple of years has been. You know, having a streak of like... Getting to challenge for five years straight. At this rate, like at this point, I'm just kind of playing the game for fun. And my mental doesn't really get that bad you know if i win cool if i lose well this is what it is i see league of legends as purely a game at this point so i guess that's probably why you know even when i um even when i put my mental to like going like all in um i still don't really tilt that much i still don't flame my teammates or anything i'd never do that stuff it's not what i am I've always been a chill guy in League, you know, with the exception of like when I was a child. <laughs> I mean, I've played this, I've played League of Legends since season one, which is basically uh, 12 years ago, almost. I mean, I was 13 years old when I first started playing League in season one, or I think 12 years old. <laughs> and now I'm like 24 years old. So yeah, I changed a lot, man. They're going for Baron, probably, so I'm going to have to force this one. But yeah, I just want to I just want to be a chill guy when I play League. I don't want to burn my mind, you know, flaming my teammates and stuff. It's, it's not who I am. It's not what I want to be, so... If the game is lost, the game is lost. You can flame, you don't have to flame, because even if you flame, there's no, you don't change anything in the game. You know, your, your, your teammates will only hate you more. So. Like, you don't achieve anything with flaming other people. Let's be honest. Oh, 
know if he's gonna die here. Yeah, I'm done. Maybe my teammates can actually get a catch here. They can probably get some kills, baby. Yeah, they, they literally dropped like everything they had, like all their abilities. They dropped it on me here. So literally my team, they can just like sit around the corner, they just drop like a Lux Q down, and they will all die anyways. Like they, they literally put everything on me there, so that's like an easy win for my teammates right there. They can just fi finish off the team fight then. Alright. <laughs> Sure, you, you drop like everything onto me, then my team will just like finish you off anyway, so it's all worth it, man. Uh my team could go for Baron actually, that would be awesome. I like my human with a also the Drake is spawning in like 15 seconds, so my team could actually rotate to it. We gotta get this one, man. We gotta get this. And then we're gonna rotate to Drake after. Awesome. Thankfully, we have this build, man. Otherwise, we could never do the Baron like this. It's all thanks to the uh, Trinity Blade build that we're able to, like, spread this Baron so fast, man. Imagine if we were, like, going, like, full tank Trundle. Uh, would be good if they don't. Okay, it's all good. Oh, yeah, they forced Drake already, so... Didn't have much of a choice. Gotcha. Awesome. Let's get a blue buff. Hey, you're trying to steal it? The CC chain. <laughs> wow. That CC chain was like absolutely insane, man. I was good. Let me just summarize that real quick. So I, I got like CC'd by Volibear by the Q, right? And the slow. Then I also got hit by the Galio, uh, the Galio knockoff, including the taunt from Galio. And the ultimate, by the way. So I got knocked up like twice in a row. Then I got CC'd by uh, by this person here. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's like all the CC they have. Wait, except for Warwick. We, we completely forget about Warwick, man. He could kill him. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy a yellow trinket. I'm gonna rush into their base. I'm gonna force the inhib. And then once I once I force the nexus, I will place the ward down. If I die, I will TP back to that ward and then I will finish up the game. Guys, I cannot tell you enough, like this strategy worked so well so many times. I'm going to see if it's going to work before we do this. All right, all right, I'm going. So my team got absolutely wrecked. Let's see if this is going to work. I hope that they don't have like any vision because that would ruin the entire plan. But let's find out. Oh, they look angry. All right, guys, here we go. My strategy will work guaranteed. I can feel it. Oh, they don't even see it. Apparently, the enemy team doesn't see me like finishing off the game here. They have like gave the, <laughs> they could like no clue. <laughs> I tell you, man, this always works. <laughs> All right, man. Either way, this is Trundle top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video for Trundle, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.